Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, and today we're checking out the top 10 upcoming free-to-play games in 2022. Don't worry, these are all completely new games that are coming soon, and I guarantee you'll find a game that you'll love. Now, if you're excited, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm, and tell me in the comments section below what top 10 video you want next. Low spec, browser games, more free to play games, let me know and I'll heart react your comment. But with that said, let's get straight into it. Starting off today is Tom Clancy's X Defiant, which is an upcoming fast paced arena first person shooter from industry giants Ubisoft. This game's focus is on different factions called Defiants, which all have unique looks and more importantly, unique abilities. On top of this, there's loadouts where you choose your weapons, attachments, grenades, etc, which gives a good degree of customization. So it's got that Call of Duty run and gun DNA with Valorant-like abilities, so it's not the most original game out there, but graphically it looks pretty good and the gameplay seems solid. For when this game will be released, there's been a few closed betas but no concrete release date. Look towards the later part of 2022 for this to come out. Lost Ark is probably the most hyped upcoming open world MMORPG in 2022 period, and it's coming out really soon. Lost Ark is an isometric 2.5D game, which means it has the same camera angle as the hugely popular Path of Exile and Diablo, and this is super interesting because this game is open world. Lost Ark aims to back this up with incredibly detailed graphics, in-depth but easy to pick up gameplay, an enjoyable storyline and much more. This ties directly into the fast paced combat focused around PvP and PvE encounters, with impressively detailed cutscenes in between. Finally, unlike the first game, today we have an exact date Lost Ark is coming out, and that's February the 11th. Get excited. Next up is SM2, which is a modded Call of Duty client based off the Modern Warfare 2 engine. Now over the years there's been IW4Rex, Plutonium and more, but this time SM2 is trying to craft the perfect Call of Duty experience. This includes all new features, perks, streaks, maps, dedicated controller support, quality of life changes and more. Weapon wise it's pretty crazy too, there's 100 plus guns across all the Call of Duty games that can be unlocked with the in-depth progression system that is absolutely perfect for grinders and casuals alike. This game looks insanely good, not only in the graphics department, but also just the raw gameplay. It's pure Call of Duty through and through. Now currently SM2 is not released and the launch date hasn't been announced. However, heaps of gameplay has been uploaded and I feel like 2022 is the year. Multiverses is the next generation of platform fighting games, going head to head against the juggernauts of Brawlhalla and Smash. Multiverses lets you team up with or against your friends using some pretty iconic characters such as Batman, Shaggy, Superman, Bugs Bunny and more. There's going to be a huge variety of maps, customization, and overall content, and it's obvious Warner Brothers is putting a lot behind this game. Graphically, Multiverses looks fantastic, and the gameplay looks pretty good too as it has lots of combos. It's got that classic brawler style with a fresh coat of 2022 paint. A very interesting aspect is that the devs are really leaning into the competitive and ranked experience, with support for online and local play. System spec wise we have no info yet, and really the same with a release date, however we know it's coming out in 2022. Ubisoft is back at it again with another free to play first person shooter, and this one is called Ghost Recon Frontline. Frontline is a 100 plus player offering that takes huge inspiration from the battle royale genre, which could be a departure from the tactical and squad based gameplay that the other Ghost Recon games are known for. I say this because from the trailer, which is the only content we have so far, it looks like Call of Duty Warzone 2, so it's probably not the most original game out there. Originality aside, the game looks solid enough, particularly in the movement and shooting departments, and Ubisoft has many years of experience making shooter games. Now the upcoming close test will be available on PC only, but for full release, Ghost Recon Frontline will be available on PC, Xbox and PlayStation, with crossplay enabled between all platforms. One of the most exciting free to play games of this year is Ark Riders, a co-op third person shooter where you and your squad of raiders unite against a robot threat called Ark. The developers, who are made up of former DICE members, call this a reimagined shooter, and that's for good reason. The raiders are underdogs in this game, and you need to band together to defeat the robots which requires tactics. This is definitely not your typical point and shoot game, and that's very very exciting. 
What's also exciting is the graphics because they look incredible for a free to play game and that combined with what looks like some awesome gameplay means I'm very excited. System spec wise we have no idea as of yet and the same could be said for the release date but we know it's sometime in 2022. Kart Rider Drift is Nexon's latest attempt to impress the free to play world and this time it's in the form of a cross platform kart racer that really looks quite good. Obvious comparisons go straight to Mario Kart and it makes sense, but being free to play opens it up hugely which has lots of potential. Now graphically this game looks great, it's running on the Unreal 4 engine and it's bright, colourful and it just works. The gameplay seems to work very well too, with it's super easy to pick up nature, but it also seems to be quite in depth and competitive with the speed game mode, and this features precise controls, advanced drifting, no items and more skilled gameplay. Add on top of this the deep kart customization, and it seems like Kart Rider Drift is for both the casual and hardcore racer fans. System spec wise an i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM and a GeForce 780T is required, however Kart Rider Drift will also be available on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with full cross play interactivity. In terms of when this game is coming out, all we know it's sometime in 2022. Next up is The Cycle Frontier, and this new free to play first person shooter is a game I'm personally very excited about. Now the original The Cycle was a free to play battle royale game, however after limited success the devs decided to reinvent this game by taking inspiration from a hugely popular shooter called Escape from Tarkov. The core mechanics of this game stay the same as the original, you get dropped into a planet sprawling with enemies where you have to capture resources and complete contracts, however now you're forced to bring in your own weapons and gear that you will permanently lose if you die. While similar in concept to Tarkov, the cycle differentiates itself with its less hardcore gameplay and easier to run graphics and of course the free to play tag, which really opens up this genre to a whole new audience. While currently in and out of betas, The Cycle Frontier is scheduled to be coming out sometime this year. Next up is Alliance of Valiant Arms, the free to play shooter that is making a 2022 comeback. If you were around in the days of Combat Arms, War Rock and so on, you would recognise AVA, a military FPS with stiff mechanics but addicting gameplay. I used to play this game a ton and it was the original class based free to play shooter, honing in on the round based tactical gameplay in the best way possible. This game has been on the sidelines for a while after a failed self-published push about two years ago, but now AVA is back on Steam, this time being published by NeoWiz. Despite being an older title, AVA is filled to the brim with nostalgia and it's a fun game to play, and it's also extremely easy to run due to its low system requirements. The Division Heartland is Ubisoft's next free to play venture, this time a completely standalone game in the Division universe. They state it will provide an all new perspective on the universe in a new setting, which is quite vague indeed, and we don't even have a trailer. The Division Heartland will be released on consoles, PC and the cloud too, however release date wise we've got a loose 2022 timeline. 